But this is reporting. So we spoke about the Nigerian man, and I'm also going to speak about the Asian man that was more stupid than the Nigerian man when it comes to defrauding my account on WhatsApp and also asking my child or trying to distort my child and members of my family and plus my supporters, yeah, from their bank accounts and their money that they've worked hard for. So he says to me, so I get a couple of family members to start hitting the phone, yeah, that he's now taken over my WhatsApp. So he first answers the call, and it's uh, my cousin. So my cousin says, yeah, hello, I'm trying to get hold of me now. So he tries to say that he doesn't know where I'm going to be back, but I'm going to be back. Uh, so even though he doesn't realize that we're recording, yeah, the lies that he's now conceding, and then we ask him uh, the picture, about the picture, and also the notification underneath the picture, and the world help that he's supplying and where the money's going to end up. Uh, and do I know about it? Uh, oh, he knows about it fully well. So, you know, lie after lie after lie. And in the end, the phone goes down. Then I get a phone call. No, in fact, I get a message uh, from another member of family saying that, uh, have I moved to Bangladesh or have I moved to India? And I said, no, why? I live in uh, Hammersmith. And he said, oh, an Indian man's just answered your phone. And I said, that's funny because I've had a Nigerian man answer my phone as well. So I said, what happened? And then as he went into the story and he said, I said, it's the same team. So they asked him for money with my picture up uh, and it's a world crisis. Uh, please help us by donating. And the phone number is my phone number. So I had to inform uh, the authorities that I'll take no part in any fraud at all and not to say that you know uh, people want to cut corners but when you're distorting from children of 11 years old uh, and also and embarrassing yourself because you will get caught uh, our law system is very good uh, the bottom line is to uh, my Nigerian fraudster yeah you failed this time and I'm sure you'll fail again uh, and to my Indian friend yeah, you definitely don't talk or sound like me and I wouldn't want to sound like you. And if you are into this or you hear this message, you must stop what you're doing immediately. That's to all fraudsters and all criminals, yeah, that do stuff, yeah, that take money from people's bank or pretending it's a world aid or it's a, a world fest and they're going to help people. Because when people are really asking for help, where people are suffering across the world, whether it be Gaza, yeah, or other people, third world countries, they really need that help. It's people like you that are getting in the way and people can't get on with people like you around. So, name please.